How do you work this thing? I'm just kidding. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. I know it's been quite some time since I've been on here. Uh, mainly because I've been working on myself. You know, the baby is coming. We have two months now. So, your boy's been pretty busy. Uh, but I want to go ahead and go over, like, what's been going on in my life. So, we've had a few ER visits in the past month uh, just because they think that my wife's getting, like, kidney stones and stuff like that. And it's not good when you're pregnant. So, I think we're clear now. She's feeling a lot better. Uh, and that's mainly like our our biggest concern is making sure she's feeling better. So I've been taking a lot of time like on my free time I don't have time to record so what I've been doing is making sure everything's like good around the house Making sure she doesn't have to do anything like that um, whether, whether that's cooking cleaning or just being with her to spend time with her um, That's our my biggest concern and just planning ahead like with my business. I'm running you know, I'm, I have to build customized meal plans, training programs, stuff like that to keep my business going. So I'm kind of getting ahead of the game and um, it's going really well. I love it. I have some new things coming along I'm not going to mention yet uh, that I will be working on in the future. As far as running goes, I still am running. Uh, the plan is to still do the No Business 100 as of now. Um, if we do not for any reason if we have to reschedule because of the baby um, or like if we're at the hospital a little bit longer because baby's coming late July um, and the race is October so I'm gonna make sure Courtney's okay I'm gonna make sure the baby's okay and before I go off and do a run like that you know that'd be kinda selfish so I wanna make sure everything if everything is totally fine I'm doing it if not we're doing one in September so it would be even closer so running my splits have still been the same uh, running about four times a week right now. It ranges from anywhere from 6 to 12 miles for right now. Uh, and the biggest thing is just building my aerobic capacity still. Everything is totally fine. My running feels amazing. Um, and honestly, I'm killing it. Like, I'm not like trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just, these runs are, are going amazing. Um, except yesterday I had to cut it short because we had a random shooting in our, well, in the neighborhood next to us so I was like alright I'm going inside um, but other than that man life has been good um, God's been good to us we have been just growing just planning and just expecting anything you know so baby's gonna be here two months and your boys gotta figure out some things because you know I work out almost two hours to three hours every day so I'm gonna have to wake up a little early. And your boy's not a morning person, so something's gotta change. Matter of fact, it's been a minute. As you can tell, I got a little it's not a filter, but it's a uh got a little light in here now. Got some new new decor in the office. I'll go ahead and show you. It's still a little messy. Um but I'll show y'all what we got going on here in my little setup now of my workstation if I can get this thing plugged in because my birthday was about two weeks ago and what we did or what I asked for from my wife was to get my office decked out so just don't mind the mess don't mind my caffeine addiction um, so I got some cool lights I gotta put these dog treats up here and get them Go ahead and show y'all. I got this cool freaking lion on the wall. Y'all see that? So, give you a little tour. This I was really excited about uh, just because I love freaking lions. We got these on the wall now. Some extra motivation. And then, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, I've had that light, but the little flashing lights back there. Um, I'm going to be clearing this and then clearing that ugly station so I can get um, some more room on here because I want a desktop uh, to be my main workstation rather than just this laptop. So, And then we also got this new rug, which is pretty dope. Love the new rug. Show the dogs. And to go over nutrition with you guys, 
I, uh, honestly, I don't need a lot of carbs. Uh, I thought when I hopped into this, you know, I'm so used to a bodybuilding approach. Um, I thought I was going to have to increase my carbs by a lot to be able to have more energy to run. But I've been keeping my protein around 220 to 250. It, it really ranges, um, especially on the day. If Depending on my fats and everything, I'm doing my own nutrition. Um, my carbs right now, I'm staying under 300. And then my fats is anywhere from 70 to 80. Um, and like I said, if there's days that I'm, like today I'm resting, uh, like not running, then I'm just gonna take it easy on my carbs. And then on the days like tomorrow when I run again, I'm gonna have 300 carbs. So today's gonna be like probably 150 to 200 grams. And honestly, I don't, I don't need those extra carbs. Uh, my energy source is fine right now. I do know that I'm going to have to implement them uh, in the future. So what I'm gonna do is ease some carbs into my system, uh, probably about in another six weeks, just because I'm still building that aerobic capacity like I was just saying. Um, and my body's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna need those carbs for right now. But once I start getting into like 20 mile runs, 30 mile runs, and then my longest runs a 50 miler, um, I'm definitely gonna need more carbs on that. So just on those days, like probably two days before, I'm gonna carb load on those uh, to be able to hit it. But other than that, that's how my nutrition's going right now. Still, same old bodybuilding approach, honestly, uh, to all my meals. Um, and the only other carb source that I've added to my meals is um, G1M Sport from BPN, uh, from their supplements. And it's just a liquid carb that you just drink 30 minutes prior to your, your workout. So that's the only other carb source I've had. So nothing major changed. And I do know that y'all want to update on my dogs. So I'll give you a quick update. Dooney is about to go to the vet in about 30 minutes. She's looking for a lizard right now. But she's going in about 30 minutes because that back toe is still broke. But she's not really, as you can see, she's running and she's fine. Um, but it's still broken. So if it, or if it's still broken today after a month and a half, I think it's been, they're gonna have to amputate it just because um, you can't just sit there and have your dog have a broken toe um, and expect them to recover because it's not gonna happen because it could throw off her joints and cause infections, other things like that. So I'm hoping our x-rays go fine today. Save me a lot more money. And then Sadie over here, she's probably gonna attack me once I get on the ground. Oh, Sadie has her surgery tomorrow. She uh, She's getting spayed. <laughs> Ow. Ow, jeez. She's getting spayed, getting her tummy tacked. Okay, okay. Um, you have to attack their stomachs. <laughs> Ow. Gosh, why are you biting so hard? What did I do to you? I feed you and give you toys and treats and love on you. And you just bite me. But she's getting her tummy tacked. The reason why you have to get a Great Dane's tummy tacked is because it's kind of like a horse, they said. Uh, if they eat and they go roll around a lot, which y'all see, they're crazy. If you're on my Instagram or anything like that, my dogs are insane. Um, they can they can twist up their intestines and stuff. So that's what's happening tomorrow. I don't know what's going on with my uh, my lighting on this camera. Um, I think my settings got a little jacked up since I haven't been on here in about a month. But we're here. I'm gonna show y'all something funny real quick. So I gotta move some stuff really quick. But Sadie has been jumping on here. And it's so funny. Let's see. Can you see me good? All right, let's see. Sadie, Sadie, look. Sadie, 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 Sadie. Come here, come here, what are you doing? <laughs> it takes her nothing just to jump up here. Like, any other dog, like this is so weird. I don't know why she does it. But literally if I'm like running around the house and I'm on this side and she's on this side, she just jumps up there to get me. You think you're some big bad beast? 
Huh? Let me see your face. Let's show them how cute you are. Show them how cute you are. You don't want to see how cute you are? Show them how cute you are. Show them how cute you are. Smile. Say cheese. <laughs> but the thing is, is I don't let her... I don't let her jump down by herself. Um, let me get y'all propped up here. Because it could hurt her joints. So she knows to stay up here until I'm done with her. Right? Oh, this is a good spot to just kiss you. To just love on you. Mm. Mommy's not gonna like this video. Ugh. 120 pound dog right there. She's getting big. But yeah, mainly I made this video just to show y'all, you know, what exactly is going on in my life. What we've been prepping for. Um, if you have a baby, you know it's a lot to prep for. So we've been kind of busy with that. Um, going to get back to the training videos here shortly. Um, probably in the next two days, we'll be uploading another video. So, um, Trying to get back into it. Trying to get back into the flow. Life has gotten crazy, which is totally fine. Um, I just took a step back from YouTube and just for a month. But I'm back. And we're going to put in some work. Uh, going to get back to uh, just showing you all my workouts so you can kind of see exactly what I'm still doing, what I'm implementing into my lifestyle. I'm still working out six days a week, uh, running four days a week right now. And I might bump up to five next week. I don't know depending on my training plans going, because I don't know anything about running. I'm just doing it. Uh, I got a program off of this guy. His name's Zach Bitter. And I'm really just following that until race day gets. So I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I will catch y'all in the next YouTube video. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one.